What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Third Person. This is the Third Person Podcast. My name is Chris, and with me, as always, are my buddies, Mike and Jesse. How you doing? Oh, <laughs> son of a bitch. Guys, what's, what's going up? on? Welcome back. This is the discussion for Into the Badlands, Season 2, Episode 3, entitled Red Sun, Silver Moon. It was a fun episode. We really liked it, and we're going to tell you why in a second. But first... The description. The description, young, young Spruce. Spruce. All right, so, so, oh, oh God. Oh, God. Um, <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. Sonny and Beiji meet a dangerous foe. Who knows Sonny? Oh. The widow prepares for a showdown. Oh. And, uh, well, MK, he learns, uh, he learns a little bit of a secret. And, and he learns yeah. it? He learns it. He learns it. <laughs> he learns it. Well, we're gonna get to that. We're we're gonna get to that secret uh, momentarily. But first, why don't we uh, why don't we just get this kicking off right and talk about our buddies the, the on the on their road trip together, Sunny and Beiji. Yeah, man. Uh, meeting meeting some bad mofo. It says so on his wallet. Uh, named Nathaniel with the the sickest sword we've ever seen on this show. Oh my yes, God. yes. It puts this little rinky dink thing bar, to shame. Bar, bar none, right? That's right. Um, That's right. I got a whole like, I could reach here and grab like twenty knives. All of them to shame. The all to shame. Yeah, right. that sword was amazing. So I mean, yeah, like a fucking six foot sword. Where the fuck it was? And it had shame. and it had rings in it. It was like yeah. Yeah, some it was hooped up. You know, um, yeah. that that intro scene. On the that little fight on that little footbridge was just yeah. that was probably one of the best. Jesse, <laughs> <laughs> distracting us with Jesse's his blades, showing his arsenal. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, Jesse but that was even a tenth of it. <laughs> I think I think that was one of the best fight scenes they've ever done. Like to me, I don't know about oh, yeah. you guys, but I rate that shit a ten out of fucking five. That was amazing. That that guy was cool. Um, you know, I mean. A, a little, a little. He wasn't as finesse. Like he didn't have enough, as much as Seth over. Did not have as much finesse as say Sonny does. Yeah. But he was a bruiser, and he kicked the dude's head off. And I don't know. It was just really yeah. cool. Yeah, that was really cool. Yeah, yeah. 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 Slice yeah. the neck and. Uh... And then does the the fucking uh, super kick five thousand right? Yeah. You know what? I give it a freaking nickel dagger. This is fucking Jesse, man. Jesse's crazy, everybody. In case you didn't know this by now. No, no, he's actually <laughs> prepared. A crazy. He's I mean, actually prepared because voices. when the shit when the shit goes down, we're heading to Jesse's house. He's got plenty of supplies right. and weapons for us. What did you guys think about Nathaniel, man? What did you guys think about him and his story? Well, Pretty sad. We find out, obviously, yeah, we find out that he was a, a clipper, a rogue. He's a rogue clipper now, and he's... Uh, we find a little bit of a backstory about his, wasn't it? Um, Wife and kid. Did we find about, did he say something about his family? Wife and kid. Yes. His uh, his family, he fell in love with a, not a baron, a, uh, a warlord's daughter. That's right. And uh, Had a kid. Yeah. Living yeah, out in the country. Had a kid. And, and he killed some guy's brother who was a bandit. Brother came back for vengeance. And, uh... He wasn't chopped home. his wife and kids head off and left them on the table for him. Yeah. yeah. So it was, it was, it's similar, you know, to what Sonny is going through and what Sonny is looking for, you know. So for him to to tell that story was was cool, especially to Sonny. But let's talk about um, let's talk about our trust in him. How we felt when we first met this guy. You know, do you we know, really trust him? Or, yeah, you like because he, he was he's a clipper just like Sonny is, but I think Sonny said he had four hundred and four kills or something, and this guy had nine hundred and ninety nine kills to Sonny's four hundred and something. Yeah, yeah. four forty, I think it was. So how do you guys feel? Did you trust him to the to to no, begin with? Or? Absolutely no. not. I you knew right away that you know. I mean, I, I I thought maybe they'd they'd like team up for a bit and then have to fight. I just assumed they were going to fight at some point, but I mean, I didn't expect it to happen there, but. I mean, I guess there's something to be said for introducing the character and then getting rid of him real quick. I mean, it could go either way, meaning it could be really good, meaning we'll get more characters like that in and out, which is fine, and maybe some will stay. I don't know. Or it could just mean that, you know, th- that hey, was uh, that was the highlight of the season and now it's going to go down. You don't know, you know? Yeah, yeah, I guess I guess so. I mean, I think that actually there's a, there's a, there's a big possibility that he can come back. Oh, oh I mean, obviously he, he can. Bandit, yeah, he, he's only missing yeah. a hand. He's missing. Well, he's missing his right hand. His sword not, hand. That's his sword. If hand. I'm not forgetting, but um, 
it's it just it just was interesting because we find out that he feels that he wants Sonny to be that last challenge for that possible one thousandth kill. Right. Either he gets and, that kill or he gets killed. He's yeah. he's been obviously he's at he's basically like, look, I've been wandering and I'm 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 pretty much ready to go. So if you kill me, great. If I kill you, I got my thousand tattoo, and I keep going until someone can beat me. He don't mm-hmm. care. He's fucking. Well, done. he told Sonny. He told Sonny that what you're looking for isn't gonna happen. He tells yeah. Sonny to turn back, because in the end, you're a fighter. You're a warrior. Um, you know, and that, it won't that end won't for change. you, right? It won't, yeah, it won't. Yeah, won't yeah end good so it won't end good. You know, with him going on the mission to find Vale to find his child. Yeah, right. Uh, in that, but. Hey, he was a cool character, and it was cool, badass when Baji, Beiji, whatever, however you want to Be- pronounce it, yeah. kind of, kind of saves his ass with the knife throw, you know. Fucking, I don't know. Beiji, Beiji has some skills. You know what I mean? He's not overall just that epitome. Uh, Stupid uh, of a sidekick, fat, right? Yeah, fat yeah, yeah. Character. You know, he's overweight. He's, you know, he's not one of those. I mean, obviously, we know what he's there for, and we all mentioned this. He's there for like his comedy, his dynamic. Yeah, but they're Sonny, giving but him the ability to do stuff. He has abilities, right? Yeah, yeah. He hears the mole in that one episode, and he, or the rat, or whatever. And Jesse, yeah. Jesse, what class would he be if he was a class? <laughs> a scout, oh, not time. a scout. A uh, a rogue. He'd be a rogue. That's it. Nah, he wouldn't, he, be, he wouldn't even be a rogue. He'd be a scavenger. Oh yeah, but scavenger isn't really a class, though, is it? Not really. Exactly. It depends on what you're playing. I and, guess, yeah, yeah, scavenger is a class. I would say he'd be a rogue like scavenger. He'd be in that. He'd be in the, like a thief. He'd be a thief. Yes. I'd say he'd be a thief because thieves yeah, can listen. Yeah. They can pick locks. They can, you know, whatever. Yeah, no, he's definitely like that. But, you know, that's yeah. actually a pretty interesting thing. We never. We should rank these characters as far as like. Uh, class roles like RPG classes, like what would they be? You know, we don't have to do it right now. I'm just saying that might be that, fun. That's a good idea, but I do know one thing for sure. In all of my years of reading books, playing games, and being a freaking giant nerd, only oh god, I've learned you always trust the big man with the big sword, and I trusted Nathaniel from the get go. Yeah, huh? <laughs> well, might have been hey. a mistake. You know what? Were you wrong though? Not really. I mean. Look, kind of he, wanted to set up Sonny in the right way. Yeah, he didn't. I mean, he did. He did be like, look, he had good intentions. Come on, let, he, he didn't know. turn him in. Right. I mean, he didn't kill him. He. I think it was more like a pride thing. So that's why, in the end, was he really that bad? No, he I guess not. I don't. I guess I don't really. Yeah, I don't no, really know. It was that, the yeah. Clipper against Clipper kind of a thing, yeah, like a yeah, macho yeah. kind of. Thing. Yeah. You know, he could have easily. I mean, I guess he couldn't easily because Sonny will fight back. But there was no, there was nothing that showed us that he was just there to, to trade that. You know, to try to get a money. You know, for the, um, you know, for, uh, for the, the wanted. But let know. me let me ask you this: Well, how do you guys feel about the actual fight scene? How do, about that particular fight scene? There was a lot of um, uh, what I call momentum moves, like Sonny just oh, yeah. sliding and going, and it's fine, man. It's a train. It's it's life, man. All right. Um, he's trying to get his two cents in. That, keep on the, chugging. Keep on chugging. Oh. I mean, so yeah, I mean, this fight, you know, some wacky stuff, man. Sonny jumps up, grabs a beam with his one hand, and he catches the sword in his feet, you know, and it's like a lot of very um, uh, crouching tiger, hidden dragon. You know what I'm saying? And I know, I know some people like that, and some people don't like that style. Uh, what do you guys? I personally kind of like that style. Because it's out there, it doesn't matter, it's flashy, it's fun, it's like, these guys are powerful. Jesse, I mean, you know, me and you, we love DBZ, you know, Sword Art Online, and this is all, this is like, this is what they're, they're these powerful beings that can do these extraordinary things. It's just seeing it in real life, it's like, ooh, okay. Like, all right. so when he was like, easily slicing through that wood with that sword. Yeah. I I mean, I... I'm going to admit it. I was a little impressed. Yeah. Uh, and then when he like just he takes the sword and he goes Vah! straight through like the whole thing. Yeah. It's like, what the freak? Yeah. It, it, yeah that's, you know, that's the, the that's martial them, arts, right, the yeah. movies. That's I mean, I don't think any of us really um, had anything negative to say about what we've been uh, what we've been seeing, 
you know, in these fights within these first three episodes. I think we all enjoy the fight oh, yeah. scenes. I mean, to get really quick back to the bridge, I liked the initial set off when when Nathaniel kind of mm, yes, like, it was so his good. Sword, I know, you know, right past Sonny, and Sonny like kind of dodged it to. It was to get so the, um, good. I know. Yeah. So. It can you know you can't go wrong with that kind of thing. I mean, and in any kind of martial arts um, movies, you know, or if you TV enjoy it, you just anything, fucking enjoy yeah, it. Yeah, they're always they're, it's always some kind of astronomical, supernatural kind of moves that they do. They're climbing on air, or the you know they're jumping off of the smallest you little know, pillar uh, or something. Yeah. yeah, yeah, to get the most insane jump or leap or flip. It, they fly. If you ever watched, like you said, Crouching Tiger. And, yeah, I know. Yeah. Saw, I used to love House of Flying Daggers. Yeah. That's one of my fa- you know? And they would leap off of these, um, in, in the air, off of like a branch, and it would propel them. And so we, we all have, uh, we've we've all excited, and we're, have been excited with, with this show so far. And the fight scenes, I mean, come on, you can see it on our reviews how much we, we've really enjoyed the, the, you know, the visual. I don't think we've had one below a 3.5 for the visuals. No, Probably I mean, not. And we're only three you episodes can't. in, but still, I I, I imagine they're most mostly going to be three, three fives to fours. Yeah. You know, as, as we get in there. Um, yeah. But guys, you want to move a little forward? I know we could we could probably spend so much time just talking about this particular part, but we do have a bunch of stuff to get to. So um, let's move forward. Can I can I throw a wrench in our little plan? I know we were going to do one thing, but why don't we talk about Quinn and Vale? Because I think there's a yeah. I, think, I think there's a little bit of stuff to talk about there. Um, you know, um, and essentially what, what the main thing that we found out. Well, I, I, to me, two two different things. One yeah. was uh, the fact that. You know, Quinn's. We got to see more of his craziness and how he treated that that kid. And he didn't kill him, and he went a little crazy on him, right? Um, which was kind of cool. Cut me, right? And he's like, "What? You cut me?" And then you know, and the kid's like, "Oh, he's like, I'm kidding, dude." But then uh, with Vale, how uh, the the mo- the more major plot point is that 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 dude Quinn still has brain cancer. Yes, so, he does. We were yes, all does. just like, "What? Oh my god! What you guys yeah. like? What? I mean, did no? Well, that's big. You know, that's big. She's the, the... kind of lucky though. They don't have dates on those X-rays. And that's true. Yeah. That's true. My my question was is is how? Where did she get that first initial X-ray? Or did she do something to the to the film? The doctor, to, right? To make, yeah, yeah, yeah the doctor to make it look like. It. But uh, you know that's. When I said in my review, I was talking about how, you know, since the, sh- since the season just just starting, we're seeing, you know, everybody getting into their place. Yeah. And that's how this the series really has to go. But as that's happening, we're getting, you know, we got a big clue of where Quinn uh, is going to end up potentially with that X-ray. Gosh. And how she and how Vale didn't cut it up. Yeah. What that's, that's the true. big that's the red herring because we know what's going to happen with that. Yeah. You know, somehow that's going to get um that's foreshadowing get from the panel. She's going to get her head and Henry's head chopped off probably. <laughs> oh god, that would suck. But, you know, and 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 also besides the 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 tumor with Quinn, we see a real connection with him um and Henry. When he's holding Henry and he was like singing a little song to him or playing that uh, that, right? horri- that horrific that music. music. I remember you saying that during the live reaction, and how you were also saying, "How does she l- trust him to to keep an eye on the hold him?" Even yeah. you I have know? a theory but, on that. What's that? It's all cause that sweet southern charm and how he talks <laughs> with that sweet molasses of a yeah. voice. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. It must he's be. He's a southern male, you know. He's in, he's in look, he's look, he, he is the male equivalent of a southern belle, yes. Yeah, he <laughs> <laughs> He's imposing for sure. But yeah. then again, you know, she's got to protect her son. She saw him put out some dude's eye just for looking at her wrong. So, yeah. you know, and obviously she's been with him for a while now, it's for 6 months and more. Yeah. You know, you mm-hmm. figure it's a little over 6 months now since since the the time break. So it's like she knows, like, what is she gonna do? You know. Plus, she's probably got other things to do. She's taking care of all the other men. Like when she had to sew up that guy's hand, and Jesse pointed out mm-hmm. that she just left him with the hand didn't finish yeah. sewing him up. You know. <laughs> hey, but Mitch, I mean, where's my- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what are you doing, bitch? But um, you know, I mean, 
I, you know, on second there's thought, a build it's up. like there's a buildup that's going on with him. Oh yeah, you know, there's yeah. a buildup with his his army. You know, well, we're gonna see. I mean, we're gonna see what I, happens in, in the. You know, what we'll at the end of at the end of this discussion, we'll talk what happens with Will yeah. Wilda. I <laughs> Wilda and Wilda. Whoa. <laughs> Widow and Tilda. Is that, is that Wildo? <laughs> Wildo. I meant to say Wal. I think I meant to say Waldo. Tilda, I'm looking at my notes. It says Widow, Tilda, Tilda, Waldo, and I said yeah. Wilda. Anyway, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Whatever. We know what you're saying. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just gonna drink some water. Someone else say words. Right. All right. So are we are we good with the Quinn and Vale? Does anybody else have to say anything with 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 uh, with that little section here we have? Um, uh, uh, I'm surprised it took me this long Whoop. to get to doing my southern charm Whoop. accent. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe your dog has something to yeah, say. Yeah, he Pepe wants to say something. <laughs> he does want to say Bring him something. up here. Let's, let's see what he has to say. He's like, where are all the dogs on this fucking show? Yeah, he's like, what the hell, man? Um, all right, so how about how about this? How about we head over to MK real quick? Because there wasn't a lot with MK. Um, what what do we get with MK? He fucking... He, he, you get MK waking up in the middle of the night and sneaking around this fucking place, right? Loves doing that, man. That's his thing. He he he, he really rubs is. one out. No, he rubs one out, he and then he t- and then he walks. And then he walks around. That's his thing, man. Sometimes yeah. the master's watching him. Sometimes she's it's not. Sleep rubbing. It's weird. Yeah, yeah it's sleep rubbing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, nah, but we get we see. Um, so he saw, we saw his best friend in the whole world get his yeah. powers taken away. Oh, yes. can I mention one thing? I did notice this um, on uh, not not tech, you know when I was editing the other video. Um, okay, so the dude that we were all like, oh oh, I see you, I see you. We were joking that he's like, I, I know you're there, boy. That yeah. dude that was carrying the case with with the other kid in it, right? That was one of the three monks that fought Sonny and took and took and MK took MK in yeah. season one. Yeah, because I went back and I was watching the end of season one, mm-hmm. of the, the end of that episode, that, that fight scene in the rain. And, um, yeah, it was fucking awesome. I was like, oh, that's that guy. And that guy happens to be, I don't know if he still is. I think either he's a UF, either he's a UFC fighter or he was a, um, a professional, um, not Muay Thai, but a professional, like, martial artist, you yeah. know, like, fighting, you know. Well, like, it, makes sense. it makes sense to have those kind of people I forget on his name, show. and, yeah, yeah. I, was, I was talking to a buddy at work. Yeah, and, he looks familiar. I follow UFC, yeah. and he does look familiar. Yeah, so it could wow. be UFC or it could just be professional, um, you know. If you guys know in the comments, I mean, pff, you know, by all means, That's correct us. Yeah. He but, might be um, a teacher of Muay Thai, yeah. My, it's it's gotta, be, yeah. This show's got to be filled with those kind of people. Well, you know oh, what? Yeah. If you watch, I watch, I watch a lot of the behind the scenes stuff because it's just, it's just amazing. There's one with how the women train, like what they, tra- how they train the women, and then yeah. there's one about Sonny and how he does like martial arts yoga. And he's 41, that dude. All yeah. right, da- Danny Yo is his name. What's his name again? I forget. Go Danny, anyway, go Danny. Talk, yeah. Talking about Sonny, Daniel Wu. Daniel Wu. Sorry, there's another guy. Oh. Uh, Danny Wu. Johnny Wu. Johnny Wu. Uh, dude, he's 41 years old, and you know he's uh, he's pretty good, man. He's in pretty good shape. He's doing his thing. I'm jealous. He's got a hot bod. You know what I'm saying? Wowzers! And uh, all those tattoos. <laughs> <laughs> Love that Joker. But um, anyway, yeah. So anyway, back to MK. What he find out? What did he find That's... out? Jesse, what did he find out, man? Uh, he found out that not all is what it seems to be in paradise. Uh. That's right, because he keeps insisting to find his mother. His mommy. He wants to find his mom. Yeah. To get the Apparently party. the master has a dark secret. That must be. The master is the student. But, uh, yeah, um, going back to when you, when you were talking about the guy that was carrying the casket, um, we kind of touched upon it, but, you know, obviously he, he, he knew Sonny was there when the kid was getting his powers drained, which was fucking like... The needles that they were going into this yeah, kid, right? That's that. So we didn't know that, you know, not to cut your point off, but we didn't know yeah. that they could have their powers taken away. Mm-hmm. And yeah. guess what? Now, wait. Now, are they taken away or inhibited? I think they're taken away. Uh, what's her face? She His said, right? Student trainer says, take it away. She said, she did say take it away because at first she I thought she was like they just inhibit it or they lower it to a point where it's not lethal or something. But I was wondering. I was like. Okay, so these powers make you super freaking strong, beyond all belief. Yeah. How are those straps holding that guy down? Well, he obviously wasn't right. Like, if it was MK, MK sure. got 
they, 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 he gets, he gets called a bad name. His eyes turn black and he goes after them. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. and so maybe this kid, though, I mean, MK is also one of the most powerful, she said. So maybe this kid was just like, he's a novice. He doesn't, you know, cause we yeah. haven't seen his, well, yeah, his... we haven't seen his ability. Well, then again, remember they said you do get weaker and you will die sooner the more you cut yourself. Now the and, question, yeah. Well, yeah. well, the question is now, what do they do with them? Uh, yeah. The, do they, they discard do them? Take, do they send yeah, them out? Exactly. If Send they take his powers, right? Do they? Do they? Do they? You know, th they took his mojo. So now, are they holding it against him until he does better, like you said, and maybe yeah, they yeah, can, yeah. Re you know, he can Get regain it, it again. Yeah, they can inject weird. it back, or do they now say, "All right, now you're going to be clean of dishes, buddy." Like, yeah. or do they just say, "Get the fuck out," or, you know, I don't think that they would let them just leave. Right? No, it doesn't. Like, I've noticed secrets and. Yeah. No animals around there, and they have meat. Well, we, animals. I mean, <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, oh, yeah, they but might the have all over again. Yeah. The term, term, term well, mites. you know what's cool? I mean, um, I mean, uh, I mean, we could, we could start wrapping it up on this section, but I mean, I think it's really interesting how they, oh, wait, no, Mike, you, I cut you off on your point with that guy he was carrying, you said the guy that was carrying MK, he knew he was there. Oh, no, he, he knew that MK was there, so yeah. he, you know, uh, the, the, it was. It's a point for MK to see that there was. There's. There's a reason. Obviously, it's very. It's very obvious. Of I think why. maybe the master wanted to. Him. No, it's just yeah. They wanted to because obviously she knows that he's walking around. Oh, she's yeah, caught him yeah. how many times yeah. already. So it was a point to to let MK see this for whatever well, reason. I mean, for, what's her face I, wouldn't find him otherwise. Yeah. yeah, true. So you know, it's like it's it's a it's just um you know just to say hey dude you can end up in that spot too. Well, you look, we're getting we're getting a lot of different we're getting a lot of cool stuff. And you know what? Think about this. Here's another correlation to Game of Thrones. Um, we're seeing stuff here. We're seeing magic. We're seeing this stuff. We're seeing we're, we're seeing them working. They're they're using it. They're they're manipulating it. Like we're seeing all this stuff and, and any correlation to game of Thrones, meaning that that's not what we're seeing on game of Thrones. That's what pisses me off about game of Thrones. As much as I love it is that there's all this there. They barely touch the surface of the magic of game of Thrones. And I, I really, they better fucking get their asses in gear and start doing some of that shit. Anyway, um, that's all I want to say. They're expanding this world. They're giving us, they're feeding us just enough. Like, Oh shit. So these people have powers, but it can be taken away. You know, what's next you know i just I, I like it i like what they're doing i think it's not stupid i think they're building the world they're fleshing it out uh fairly quickly in my opinion and you know yeah, yeah. so well this um, is the third episode so how do we know jesse i mean you're always good with that do we know how many they we're gonna have ten. this season it's ten, ten. This season, yeah. all right so we're not even halfway there so um if yeah. we're to go by last season they haven't released an official number um although it is suspected ten Okay, okay so, so we have a lot to go. We just left to go. Um, yeah. So speaking of going, why don't we go to the end of this discussion and get on with uh, Wildo, Waldo, Wilda. Yeah, Wilda. Wilda let's let's talk about me. Wilda. It's Widow, Tilda, and Waldo. So um, yes. I just, uh, I mean, just briefly, you know, the widow is is getting ready to go to this meeting that Waldo mm -hmm. has. Has he set it up, or he just found out about it? I think. I don't. Th I just. He's the. He's just giving some information. You know, some advice. Well, I don't think he was the one. Well, that he knew said about it. it. He's the one that told her about it. So he's involved in 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 something in that because you know he obviously he's he's involved in all this stuff yeah. uh, as an old clipper. But um, we got a really cool scene where well two two scenes I enjoyed were where she's telling Tilda, look, you're in charge now. I bred you. I brought you up. I, you know. Yeah. You know. I mean, she's like, you're the woman of the house right now. And if anything happens to me, just I want you to blow up the oil fields. <laughs> yeah. Just burn the oil fields. <laughs> burn I was the like, fields. And when, and you're, when done you're done with that, that burn, burn the down house. the house. <laughs> <laughs> Team Wolf reference. Team Wolf, if you Damn know it. about Mike, Team Wolf. Mike, you know, yeah. you know oh. these Badlands episodes, all we do is, is quote our 80s and 90s shit. I and I love, so I love it. I love it. like, man. what? You know, I like, know. If you guys... Oh, no, I've seen Teen Wolf and all that. All right, I'm just... I'm not a giant quoter. Yeah. So uh, no, he's more yeah. about he does the he'll do the voice from it as opposed to that's that's yeah. what he quotes yeah. it. But I mean, yeah. And then yeah. we saw, um, you know, and then the other scene that I liked was Wald Wald Walda, Waldo, and the widow. She's like, "Why are you doing this?" And Waldo then he Frank. goes and and he's like, his speech was, you know, listen, being being he goes, I used to be larger than life basically, and now yeah. being down here. 
He's like, now I see what it's about. I, you know, I, I've seen it from the peasant's point of view type of thing, mm-hmm. you know? And, um, yeah. no, I just, I just enjoyed, I enjoyed that interaction. You know what I mean? Usually, and he's a lot of advice, man. He has a lot of advice for her. And he's the one that really tells Tilda, no, you should stay here. Yeah, right. Because Tilda right. wanted to go, obviously, and protect the widow. Protect you know? her mom, yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah, I mean, you know, I mean, what, what did you guys, I, I know, I know I took up the lion's share of that, but, um, what, what did you guys think about those scenes? I mean, I, essentially those are the two scenes that we got from them aside from the very end, which we'll talk about, I guess, after you guys give what your, what do you think, Jess? Uh, well, first off, checked it. 10 episodes this season. That's the main good. thing. Dope. Good. Um, I, I just, I really like the dialogue between Waldo and the widow and Tilda because he's the scorning elder and it, it just it fits really well the guy's a great actor um so yeah shut up <laughs> <laughs> oh my god you're yelling at your here. dog and Don't then he said dog. so they got their dog's fault <laughs> but yeah that's 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 my thoughts on it uh, he's You're a really good actor it, yeah. i like his scenes I, I love it when he's on screen and I actually love it when the widow's on screen when she's not fighting because she's a good actress. Yeah, I I she think just, she excels better at that yeah. than that. Than that, yeah. They all have the coolest. He doesn't agree. To, yeah. yeah, you dog. What's the what's what's his name again? Uh, Peppy. Peppy. Yeah. Peppy, that's right. Duh. Yeah. So they just have the 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 most awesome costumes, right? With the blue velour jacket that uh, that Waldo Peppy. was wearing. And <laughs> Peppy's gonna steal the show now, but yeah, yeah just, just the overall. Like I told you, when you know, like I like I said earlier, that just he's just he's just that um, he's like the Tyrion to Daenerys. Yeah, you know what I mean? yeah. So it's just an advice. He's an older guy. He's oh been through. He's so cute. Yeah, but I mean, but, you know, uh, yeah, d- I, yeah. They do. They do have the. I'm telling you, man. Why don't Why don't we move to the end then? Because. Um, I think the biggest thing we took a when so they finally show up at Ryder's house, right? Yeah. Oh, and I, I made I made this comment in the um, <laughs> in all the live reactions, but I, you, you gotta love how they color code everything. It's it's just like a game. It, it's like they they don't they don't care that it's everything is like this blatant. It's like hey, guess what? The widow is blue and like a deep blue yeah. and and the light blue and and mm-hmm. and the. Uh, uh, Ryder is has the armadillo sig- f- sigil and they're red and everything's red like it's just so yes just do it like yeah you have factions you yeah I love it so they you show up you notice what Quinn's new color up. is Quinn is like what color it's like pla- it's black he's now a black and silver yeah 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 um it's easy to e- easy to distinguish who's who you know, obviously like, that's also very Waldo's practical blue yeah. jacket though that was oh my god awesome. yeah. but wait but then Ryder, man not not for nothing but that outfit was dope it was literally like a kimono underneath a nice <laughs> like a, a nice fitted like sports jacket it was so cool and the and dresses for the women are like of. they're so interesting the way they're cut like that's shit you don't normally see hey like, um you played assassin's creed 3 correct mm-hmm that reminded me of Connor's um, British and oh yeah that the one colonies yeah, the, the colony his colonial outfit yeah. yeah 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 only there wasn't any buttons on on riders but yeah very very just I think it was yeah. white jacket with red red and black kimono um I don't know man fucking really yeah. really cool but next I love on the best outfit. dress on. next up yeah best dress <laughs> so um I think we we knew this already but I think we had all forgotten it but the widow's name is Minerva. And if, yeah. I think we all knew this, but we were all just like Minerva. Like you just have to said McGonagall. Yeah. I know you said McGonagall. Um, and but all right, so so obviously there's going to be a showdown. There's going to be some stuff going mm-hmm. down. So mm-hmm. I mean that's just. I know Chris was. Well, you were commenting on her heels when she was getting out of the truck. Like, <laughs> well, she's got these super <laughs> sharp stilettos, right? She jumps and she steps into gra- like thick rock <laughs> gravel <laughs> driveway. Yeah. I'm like. Really? I guarantee there's a blooper reel somewhere of her trip and getting out of the car. I'm just oh, telling. of course. You know? I don't know. But anyway, it was cool. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, anything else for that? I mean, that's really all there is to it, I think. No, just I think. to build up for next week. Next week, we'll obviously see, you know, we'll see the meeting. See Nathaniel come back, but, you know, as a sporting character. You know what? He may just show up later. He may yep. show up later. And then be pissed that Beji took his hand. Yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah. Nick Frost, I'm gonna kill you. 
Oh, excuse me, because now he can't clip anymore. That was oh, his, come on. That was Any his good source man, is his, with his main hand as he is with his second hand. Yeah, well, not true. Jamie Lannister. No, oh, yeah, Jamie not fucking. <laughs> said Jamie. Did he, though? <laughs> Did he, though? He, he still wasn't as. I don't know. But he's not that. as good, but he's gotten better. God, yeah. there's I mean, so many Braun correlations to hands, Game of Thrones. There's so many, because now we got a one-handed yeah, swordsman yeah. on here too. Damn. Hey, anyway, you know, for the for the people in the comments that want to get our Game of Thrones content, just watch the end of of this video. Okay? Yeah, there you well, go. There's your Game of Thrones content. <laughs> no, I don't know. Yeah, it's coming. You get to talk on hands and swords. That's it. Uh, yeah, it, it's coming. Okay. It's coming. Jesse, that's like the fifteenth blade he's shown. I love it. Right. I've shown uh, that one three times. I mean, I can grab another one. <laughs> You uh, might as well. Why don't you grab another one while we while we wrap this puppy up, right? Yeah. So, all right. So that's gonna. That, I think that's gonna do it for this episode, right, guys? Yep. I think that's an episode. Oh, I like that one. That's a cool one. That's a, that's a little partner to it. Anyway, Mikey, where can they reach us, buddy? They can reach us at all the social medias at Third Person Pod. Um, you can also, don't forget, we are now on iTunes, so you can check that out. You can leave a review on that. We appreciate that. You can also find us on YouTube, obviously, at Third Person Pod. We love the comments. We've been getting lit up by the comments. Um, oh, yeah, keep them coming, and, guys. Just keep them yeah, coming. exactly. We love it. You know, don't, don't, uh, you know, we don't, don't mind you telling a friend or two and hitting that like button if you really enjoy the content. But there's a lot there's a lot more coming from us. And like I said earlier, we've been getting a lot of questions about Game of Thrones and some other series. And we're definitely going to get to them. Um, we're building up now that Walking Dead is over and the summer is upon us. We're going to really get into it. Yeah, we really got some good stuff some, coming. We got a couple more a couple more shows stuff. coming. Uh, so if you like this episode, don't forget, uh, like Mike said, hit that like button on this one. But also go check out our reaction and the review. Uh, while Jesse's spinning his blades, so go check out the, those other videos and uh, you know leave some comments over there as well. Uh, Jesse, uh, what's going on with Comic Blitz, man? Well, as I brandish a knife about, Comic Blitz over there has finally released their Android app. Yep, That's right. Now released. you can get Comic Blitz on not only your iOS device but your Android device and your PC or Mac. Wow! There you go. <gasps> Yowzers! So yeah. <laughs> why don't you head on over there? Get yourself unlimited comics for three months for three dollars. That's a buck a month. Buck a month. That's a crazy Indeed. deal. Yep. Uh, so use third uh, promo code third person pod, and that's it, guys. And also, if you have as many knives as I do, try to keep them in an easy access place. <laughs> Don't cut yourself. Yeah, I was. I was like, Jesse's gonna swing that and be like, uh, I gotta oh, go. No, I'm better go. with a knife than that. You gotta give me credit. <laughs> That's true. I just thought it'd be funny if it happened. Uh, anyway, get some real. It'd be, it'd be apropos considering we're doing a, a, the Badlands where every, they cut each other and bleed. You know, this is the one I'd be more worried about. This is my sharpest blade. It's, it's also blade. a two foot stiletto. That is a beautiful blade. Uh, well, just like uh, Minerva. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. God. Hey, remember that scene where she fights those guys in in like the in the whorehouse, I think, or the bar? Oh yeah, yeah. She just the decimates those guys, and she's like, ba 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 ba. She leans. Oh man, it was so great. I watched she's that. Fucking the other night. She's um, fucking right. badass. All right. Well, as as Jesse's brandishing his last blade, I think that's gonna do it here for us at Third Person Pod, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you on the next discussion video. Uh, peace out. Bye.